here I have this 30 inch East Oak electric smoker. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. This is everything that came inside the box besides the user manual. This is the actual smoker itself. This piece right here is the grease tray and that's just gonna go in this slot right here. We have the water bowl and then we have the smoker box. You can see it opens up just like this and this is where you're going to put your wood chips. You just put this little lid on, it's actually like a pole drawer. I'll show you where you put that in a minute. This piece right here is the drip pan. It comes with a back handle so that you can easily move this around. It does have wheels on the bottom. And then it comes with four of these different cooking racks. And they each look like this. It also comes with a few different screws to help with assembly. Let me go ahead and install all of these pieces and then I can give you a run through of the entire smoker all put together. Okay, I have this 30 inch smoker completely assembled and this is what it looks like. It only took a couple of minutes, which is really nice. Right here is the side wood chip loader. This is going to seal the heat of the food. I really like that there's no need to open the whole door of the smoker in order to add wood chips during the smoking process. Just for reference, one whole box of wood chips will last for about two to three hours of smoking. So on the far left over here, we have the power button. This is going to turn your smoker on and off. Then we have a temperature button. Then we have the time button where you're going to adjust your cooking time. We have this plus and minus button right here that's going to add time or temperature value. These little pieces right here are going to light up whether this is actually on and smoking actively I do want to show in the back that there is this handle right here that you do install and there are two wheels on the bottom so you can easily use this handle to tilt it back just enough to be able to pull it or push it where you need it. This is the little latch handle right here, how you're going to open and close this. I do like that it secures nice and shut when you do have it closed. So as we go ahead and open this door and look on the inside, you can see that there's actually 725 square inches of internal space in here, making this a really nice large cooking space. This does have four chrome plated smoking racks in here. And one of the other things that I do like about this is that it does have aluminum plated plates that have been added around here to the edge of this digital smoker. So you can see right here is the drip tray. And then right down here is the container that you're gonna put water in to create a little bit of steam. And then right here on the very bottom is the grease tray. There is a little slot for the grease to drip down right down there so you don't have to worry about a really big mess. Let me go ahead and get this prepped and ready to use for the first time and I'll kind of walk you through what that looks like. Overall, using the user manual, this smoker was really easy to use. We ended up cooking a brisket. This was our first time not only cooking a brisket, but using a smoker. And I was so happy with how well the process went. You can see how nice this looks. It's nice and juicy and tender, and it still has that nice crisp outside that you want on a brisket that is smoked. We did end up smoking corn, which turned out really nicely as well. Overall, I was impressed. 